Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Cooler Master Silent Pro Platinum 1000 Watt Power Supply and this is the latest addition to the Silent Pro family of power supplies from Cooler Master and as you might have gathered from the name, it carries an 80 plus platinum rating of course compared to the Silent Pro Gold which has the gold rating and the Silent Pro Hybrid which also has a gold rating but fully modular the Silent Pro Platinum is a hybrid modular power supply, it's semi-modular, it has the hardwired uh, primary cables you have the 24 pin, uh, 8 pin and one of the PCIe but it has the higher platinum rating and uh, let's open the box for now we can see inside uh, it has a slightly different packaging see here inside is another box which is similar actually to the one found in the Sound Pro Gold, Sound Pro Hybrid and even the Sound Pro M2 it's plain black packaging here and uh, also used a different kind of foam See, it is a higher impact foam. This actually is a rubber. Feels, it smells like a rubber, like a uh, like a shoe store when you open it. And inside, you'll find the documentation. You'll find, of course, the manual and the warranty card. The Sound Pro Platinum, like the higher end power supplies from Cooler Master, carry a five-year warranty. Side, of course, you have the unit itself in a convenient bag. Just take a peek what it looks like before we continue opening it. See there? Just a side, and you lift this apartment up. As you can see this foam is really, really durable, aside from the dual packaging of the power supply already. And here on the parquet at the bottom are the modular cables. So let's put all the packaging aside and take a look at the unit itself and the accessory in closer detail. Alright, so here I have laid out the modular cables from the package. And the first thing you can notice here is the fan cable connector. Of course, these are the 7 volt fan connector and this is of course unique to the Silent Pro Platinum power supply and also found on the Silent Pro Hybrid where it was first introduced and also have the power cable and the modular cables. If you notice the modular cables are similar in that they are the flat ribbon uh, style cables that are easily manageable and they're all monochrome black compared to the uh, the other power supplies that are, that are modular there, which have a rounded cable the Sound Pro line uses these easily manageable cables also in terms of the length here let's go uh, let's go through them one by one for floppy connectors you get actually five connectors in total uh, spread out on two different cables and these cables have different lengths the the one with the floppy connector and the uh, the top end is actually uh, the longer one it measures around 750 millimeters um, that is of course measured from the first connector all the way to the base connector so that is 750 millimeters with 100 millimeters a distance between the two connectors and of course the flopping at the other end while the other one Let's see where we get that. Here we go. It's a little bit shorter. It measures 500 millimeters from the base to the first connector, and of course, similarly, 100 millimeters between each. Uh, the uh, the standard is, I believe, 150 millimeters. So it is a bit uh, a little bit more closer together than the standard. But as you can see, there is a, a good, decent length from the base all the way to the other connector, including this one. Here we have the SATA cables, and like the um, the Molex connectors, one of them is a lot longer than the other. The other two are 500 millimeters, while this one right here actually measures 750 millimeters as well, and the same distance, 100 millimeters each. And you get 12 connectors in total, spread out on three different cables, so that's 4, 8, and 12 connectors. And lastly, we have the pair of PCIe cable connectors as you can see these take six plus two pins so eight pin you can attach a 6990 in each of these by uh, 6990 which takes 
a pair of eight pin cables. And as for the length of these, these are around 650 millimeters. And uh, of course, the, those are only the modular cables. We still have some more cables here on the main unit itself. So let's take a look at that. Let's zoom in the camera and take a closer look. Just like the Silent Pro Gold Series power supply, you have the 24 pin hardwired, you have the 8 pin CPU connector hardwired, as well as the uh, one PCIe connector. So you can see here is a 6 pin plus 2 for 8 pin. And like high end power supplies, you get a pair of 8 pin connectors. Now the length of these cables for the 24 pin, notice that it isn't breakable, it is, uh, let me see if it is breakable, actually no it isn't, it is a single 24 pin so legacy users will not be able to use it of course. Uh, you have your, uh, your 24 pin cable is 600 millimeters long while the CPU, this pair of CPU connectors here, they're a little bit longer at 650 millimeters long or sufficiently long for full tower cases as well and also you have this hardwired cable which is for the uh, PCIe which is similar in length to the rest of the modular PCIe connector which is 650 millimeters. Let's put the cable aside let's take a look at the unit itself. You notice that compared to other uh, large power supply, uh, high, larger capacity power supplies, Sound Pro Platinum form factor is not any larger compared to those. And uh, similarly, let's see here at the bottom, compared to the other Sound Pro series, uh, you have the 135 millimeter fan. This one is a hydraulic bearing fan, which of course uh, long life and designed to be quieter compared to the previous. Uh, Cooler Master power supplies, and if you look closely in there, you can see the patented heatsink design. Uh, the promotional information on their website, Cooler Master website, actually shows an aluminum heatsink. I can see the aluminum heatsink there, but there's also an aluminum, uh, rather a heatsink there that looks like a copper heatsink. Of course, copper conducts heat better; it absorbs a lot more heat compared to uh, the aluminum, and that's probably why it. Uh, the, if there, it doesn't require a larger fan or it doesn't require a larger form factor to be able to uh, take the heat. Uh, of course, like other cool mesh power supplies, this also comes with a 40 uh, rating for a 40 degrees Celsius. So I, I would have hoped for a lot for a uh, 50, at least 50 Celsius. But uh, from we have seen previously that they, even though they're uh, labeled as 40 degrees Celsius, they can actually withstand uh, 50 in terms of performance and uh, you can see in there also there's more features there you have um, the Japanese capacitors you have the LP9 transformer and you have the soft start relay of course the active PFC and here at the bottom the rear you can actually see through some more of the components and uh, also honeycomb mesh here for exhausting the heat and the switch for the power and let's take a look at the modular connector ports here in front. You get the pair of PCIe connectors. You also get the fan controller at the bottom, fan connectors rather. You have the right there. And you have five for the hard drive, SATA, and floppy connectors. There's a pinout right there on the side for those. Also, you can see that the, there is some protection around the cable so it doesn't uh, touch, it doesn't get damaged with the metal frame of the power supply. And for the breakdown of the uh, rails here, you can see that it has a single 12 volt rail at 82 amp at nine, outputting 984 watts. So it is similar to the Silent Pro Hybrid which have they have the same breakdown that one has a uh, 1050 watt and it also had an 82 amp and a 12 volt rail of course the difference is is this one has this, a 80 plus platinum rating if you're not familiar with 80 plus uh, ratings the highest currently is actually uh, for regular desktop it is platinum so it's hard to achieve but there is one now that is titanium 80 plus titanium and there's only one power supply that has done that that was made by uh, Delta uh, Electronics and Dell this one the Sound Pro Platinum like uh, Cooler Master's high-end Silent Pro series power supplies um, are designed with uh, 
enhanced electronics uh, OEM, in case you are wondering. And that uh, pretty much covers the overview of this Silent Pro Platinum 1000 watt power supply. And it's actually a 550 watt model, in case you're looking for a uh, lower capacity model. There, those are the only two models in this line. Uh, of power supplies, but uh, Cooling Master has a lot of other options for, for the Gold, Sound Pro M2, and Sound Pro Hybrid in case you're not looking for Platinum, but rather something that's 80 plus but not necessarily Platinum. Of course, it comes with a higher price compared to other power supplies, but the Sound Pro Platinum is reasonable at $249.99. Okay, let's uh, put this in our test system now and test how well the Sound Pro Platinum 1000 watt power supply performs.